When you use the Cinema 4D renderer in After Effects, you can create really nice extrusions, but the depth of field option becomes disabled. So let's take a look at how we could force it back. All right, so what I'm gonna do is pre-compose all my stuff here. Click the first layer, shift click the bottom layer, right click and go to pre-compose. All right, so let's call this render and we got that. Now, what I'm gonna do is duplicate this layer, Command D. So we got two copies of this. I'm just gonna rename this one. I'm just gonna call it Z. There's only gonna be two of these, so it's not gonna be that confusing. Okay, so let's turn off render and look at Z. So what I wanna do is an effect that I don't use a lot. So I'm gonna go up here to effect in 3D channels and go to 3D channel extract. And right off the bat, if you use 3D apps, then you know this looks like a Z-depth channel. And uh, we just need to change the white point and the black points. So the white will be the areas that are in focus. And as they go back in space, like the edge of the D, and as this extrudes back, we want it to get darker. And those darker areas will be out of focus. Just don't go too far or else you're gonna get things to flip around like that. All right, so yeah, this is gonna show up pretty nicely and uh, let, let's see how this works. If we turn it off, we turn this one back on and I wanna go to this layer and I wanna add camera lens blur. So L-E-N-S and we see camera lens blur right here. Let's drag this onto our render layer and we see a little bit of a blur. Let's set this to, I don't know, 20 and we see more of a blur, but it's just kind of a general blur over everything. And we've gotta tell it to look at this Z channel here, this Z layer. So let's select this render layer again and make sure we see the effect. We'll go from none and we'll changes to our layer one, the Z. It doesn't look like there's any blur here because this Z is basically, it's looking at the Z without the effect on it. So we need to go to our render layer, go to source over here and say, look at effects and masks. And now you'll see it changed, but we're getting the opposite of what we want. So I'll hit this invert here. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. We see this edge of the three is the closest to us. That's in focus. As you go back in space, this side of the D is going out of focus. You could bring this up blurrier, but at a certain point, the effect kind of breaks apart. It gets a little bit weird. So maybe go with 20 at the most, maybe even 10 would be better. If we want, we could change this blur focal distance. So right now it's looking at what's closest to us on this Z layer, but we could change this. And as we move that, it's changing the focus. So this is an interesting way to kind of get this rack focus effect where we kind of see this edge a little bit more in focus. As we go towards one, we'll see it more in focus over here. And yeah, so that's how it works. 